So this is a pedal powered tractor, human powered. The amount of horsepower that is on a normal uh, tractor is used to power the tractor itself. We grow over a hundred different crops, so a very diversified farm, and one of the motivations for creating FarmOS is to be able to manage a highly diversified operation and all the complexities associated with that. I believe every farm should be a research farm, and part of what we're doing here is uh, collecting data that can be shared. Uh, globally, even. All set. All right. Arming. Aerial imagery in general is a very fast, non-destructive way to collect a tremendous amount of environmental information about the farm, both for crops, but also from uh, forest health, water health, and other systems. It allows us to elevate our perspective, uh, quite literally. So this is just a, uh, a Raspberry Pi open source, essentially a mini computer. And it's connected to a Wi-Fi connection there and a simple USB temperature uh, probe. And it's uh, acting as both a data logger as well as communicating and logging the temperatures it records here onto uh, FarmOS. The hardware is in the range of uh, maybe less than $50. And here we have the page on FarmOS that's uh, profiling the, the sensor in, and here's the current value, so 32 degrees Celsius currently, which is within acceptable range. It's very important to, to be able to monitor the temperatures and other environmental conditions to match what uh, the current state of our crop production is and to manage the soil moisture levels, uh, humidity levels, and temperature. FarmOS is a management and record-keeping system that is based essentially on creating a website uh, that's particular to that farm. What we aim to do with FarmOS is understand a farm at its most fundamental nature so that we can look at a survey quick on the map of which sensors are currently available. Here we can see a map of the current state of where animals are on the landscape, either individual animals or in some cases flocks or, or herds or groups of animals. We also have the ability to integrate other types of data into our system, like the USDA soil survey. Here's the USDA soil survey data overlaid on our own farm. The intention is to be able to have democratized access to environmental data so that anybody has access to high quality, high resolution data at very low cost and have high participation. This is a big collaborative effort, and I think this is indicative of the, uh, the idea of uh, open collaborative science, uh, and that's the real fun of it when we have folks from EPA and USDA and uh, the commercial farming operation here and software developers and hardware developers all working together. So it's, it's a lot of fun. But we're also going to be 
piloting a project where we're co-deploying low-cost sensors with industry sa standard sensors. And that's the big focus of, of the initiative, is to develop a protocol by which we can not eliminate the need for the industry standard sensors, but use them to validate and calibrate lower cost sensors that are more accessible to more people, to more farmers. Just get a little bit closer. We've got these cheapo soil moisture <laughs> monitors that also do temperature. And we're going to try to set this up next to fancier monitoring equipment that, uh, that they've got out there to see how they compare. So that's the, that's the plan. Okay. I have, I'm gonna make a spot for my temperature sensor. We'll fill that, we'll put that in, and then we're gonna put the soil in there until we're at 15, so that they're just kind of in there and more stable. Perfect. Okay. If you think about uh, civilization like a tree, with agriculture at the roots and the population at the trunk and arts and commerce as the leaves and branches. And if people see themselves as part of that, where the commerce and leaves may not weather a storm, they may break and blow, but they will regrow. But if the roots of the tree are attacked, the entire system will wither and die. And that's part of this seeing oneself as part of the agrarian system. It's very important that we all have an interest in building strong roots. I'm going to pull up my data table, and there's my data. Yeah, so that's great. So it looks like, like everything is working really, really well. So we have uh, the sensors installed in the soil. One of our objectives was to make sure that we could get end-to-end -end communications from the sensors in the field through to FarmOS. We've, we've done it. <laughs> uh, moving that data through this uh, design will allow us to put dozens or hundreds of sensors through the same pathway. So that's very, very exciting. I think a big part of agriculture is creating a record that's publicly accessible so future generations don't have to duplicate uh, the, the work of generations past. And it's clearly in our global interest for every farmer to improve the land beneath their feet.